this is called Rain and Sunshine. I was just leaving to go to my jam and here we are. Bright sunrise or sunlight <laughs> and tons of rain. It smells delicious. Can smell the humidity. Oh my god. There's a beautiful rainbow to the side of me. Let's see if you can see it. Look at there. That's so cool. What a lovely rain though, honestly. I just, uh, I like the rain, so it's never an issue with me. I don't mind walking in the rain. Well, we're gonna go this way and actually donate a couple things. And look at here, blue skies on the right, stormy weather on the left. Only in Tucson, and that's quite normal. It's yeah, that's just who we are. Oh my gosh! So I have not been drinking my water because why? The weather has cooled down somewhat, and I just haven't been absorbing it the way it should be. And even though I have my five-dollar water bottle, I was still not drinking it correctly. And so, um, not last night, but I think it was Friday night. Yeah, Friday night, I was so thirsty, like my dang tongue was dry as dirt, and it jerked me awake a couple of times, and I, I had bottles of water next to my bed, so I was downing those, and then I googled, because I'm like, why in the world would my tongue do this, and come to find out, it's because you're super dehydrated, <clears throat> so... Today I've been working on drinking my water back up and isn't it funny how just the simplest things can throw you off course and if you don't just stay disciplined to what you're doing then you're just pretty much messing up the whole system and it's just frustrating. It's frustrating when easily fixed though so that's the biggest thing. Um, you know that's always what you want to do is try to fix whatever was going down. So all right I gotta donate these things. Hold on. We're on our way to the rest of our adventure. Ah. So I think I'm just going to go this way. So anyhow, um, with dialysis, things are good. Tomorrow I have a DeVito appointment. And I'm thinking that it's just blood work. Um, but I will be happy to let them know that I did finally find and got assigned to a new primary care physician. So <clears throat> that way we can start whatever, I don't know, all the doctors have to talk to each other and stuff, which makes sense, but at the same time, it's like everybody wants a piece of the pie, <laughs> and I'm just like, I, I don't care, I, I just need to be seen, like, let's make sure that I don't have to repeat myself a thousand times over and over again. So the other day, um, I put in the 2000 in my bag. And remember, I have to pull out that 2000, right? So I pull out the 2000 plus whatever's extra. Now, whatever's extra has to be more. It, it, that is your dialysis working. That is your dextrose doing its job. So I put in the 2000 and I pull out like 22. 100, 2300, 2500. Sometimes I have pulled 3100. That's crazy. First of all, I feel like it's crazy because I can't believe I'm holding that much extra toxins. And it mystifies me as to how come that happens because most likely it's because I've eaten a very large meal and my body's working, right? It's doing what it's supposed to do. My dextrose is doing what it's supposed to do and it's pulling out what it needs to pull out. But it baffles me when I haven't eaten anything and I get a really high number like that. So that tells me that my body is pulling from the storage units, <laughs> which should be fat, um, and breaking those down to feed my body. And then from there, of course, I create toxins, right? <clears throat> which is what your body does. Every time you eat and drink something, that's going to make this come out, your toxins. Typically for you guys, it's going to come out through your kidneys, through your pee, through all the other stuff. Um, hopefully not thrown up, <laughs> but that's how we get rid of stuff. So, it baffles me that you'll actually have, I'll have a day where I don't eat hardly anything and I get like 28 or 28. 
toxins, but it really is terrible because like if you have liver disease and jaundice is where your liver doesn't work right and the toxin is the jaundice disease that you get because your liver's no longer cleaning, right? And so <laughs> that's toxic and that's how we die. I'm not not with kidney disease typically, but you know what I'm saying? Like you 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 can die that way. And so I'm <laughs> just like how is it that I felt fine? I was doing great, everything's good. And I'm not complaining though about these numbers because that's what I want. Now if I put in two thousand and I get out two thousand and ten that tells me that something's not right, you know, or, you know, if it's like the first one, it's not really a big deal, but if it's like consistently over a week, like I'm putting in 2,000, I'm only getting out 20 or 40 or 50, and it's like, I'm not really pulling, I think I would call Beth immediately and be like, ah, uh, something's amiss, because my body should be pulling more than that, especially if I'm eating, if I'm, if I'm eating, and this is happening, that tells me that I'm not pulling correctly, like something is wrong. <laughs> but if it happens every once in a while, I'm sure that it just happens every once in a while. And, and the madness and science behind it, I don't know. And I don't know that I have the energy to really investigate all of that. But nonetheless, it's an interesting thing that happens. Um, and I, I like when I pull a good amount. Like, I feel like my body was cleansed of its wickedness of eating. <laughs> so, I don't know. That's just how I feel. Um, and I think for me, it's like encouraging to know, like, yes, my dialysis is working. Um, you know, my numbers are, I have the math behind them. I have the math behind the dialysis to prove that it's working. Um, and then again, every, what, three months, I want to say, I do a collection where I have to collect my dialysis bags themselves and take them in so that she can check to see what is going on inside the bag, um, which is very cool. I mean, it's an amount that has to be rated to make sure that my dialysis is actually pulling um, I write down all my information in my little notebook, whereas um, some people use the app, I think, and they log in every day. I don't like that app because I feel like it's not, it, do, I, it doesn't make sense to me the way they want you to do it. Um, and, and I think way too deeply into apps and how things are structured, so it's probably 90% my issue and not really the app's issue, but because it is your medical records, uh, what happens too is that they want you to create a new password like every three or four months and I'm just exhausted trying to remember the one I have and I don't want to have to continually create new passwords for this thing. And so that's to me is a big discouragement because I just... I don't like it. <laughs> I'd rather just write it down on paper, honestly. So. So, I thought this was funny that I'm on my way home and it's raining again. Uh, while I was at the jam, it didn't rain. <laughs> but I get on this side of town and it looks like it's pouring pretty good, so. Uh, I tell ya, these summer monsoon storms are pretty great. Wow, I can barely see. My windshield wipers are going pretty steadily. I was gonna stop by fries too, so I don't think I'm gonna do that. Whoa. <laughs> I'm just gonna follow the person in front of me. I don't know if you can even see. You can't even see. That's so crazy. So I guess if I die, well, I'll know that it wasn't the kidney disease that got me. <laughs> no, I'm fine. Everything's fine. I'm glad I have this car ahead of me, though, because it's like I can just follow it and see what happens. Man, that sucks. I was going to stop in Fry's and get some lettuce, some milk, some other things I needed.
excited for tomorrow, but looks like I'll not be doing that right now. Day rain. Whoa. Wow, I can barely tell which lane I'm in. It's a good thing this is like my constant to get home because otherwise I'd be really confused and lost. This is a good rain. Wow. I'm sure you can hear it. Like all the puddles I'm going through. 